It come from everywhere. And mine, I always re- I'm remind everybody, you're never too young, too old, too anything. No limits can be an adherence to being your teacher. So my kids, I have learned, can teach us something. We're not always there to tell them what to do. Definitely not. We're there to teach them, be their best life coach. But they could also be the same for us. My kids have taught me to slow down. Yeah. It was my. But why I bring that up is my oldest daughter got really into running. She plays lacrosse. She also does cro- indoor track and cross country and loves it. But she didn't want to do it alone. And I think our par- as parents, it's our job to be there with them. Yep. Um, uh, real quick, I have two kids that play hockey. I play hockey now, but didn't. And everyone thinks I did. Interesting. Only because I want to participate. Back to the running. So she <laughs> wanted to start doing these 5Ks, 10Ks. And I was like, I'll figure it out. People think I love running. I didn't. I'm good <laughs> at it. But it doesn't right. mean I love it. Right. I have found a love through it. Anyways, we were doing it for a while. I got a bad back injury last year, tore two discs. I couldn't, I was actually, to give you a long story short, I was stuck in bed for an entire day, couldn't even move anything. It wasn't just the pain, I really I couldn't that. move. I was scared. I, yeah. I've been through some host injuries that I know we don't have time to get into, but I've had bad accidents. I've fractured vertebrae. I have been partially paralyzed at points in my life. Dang. So, purpose through pain. I, I train these <laughs> kinds of clients now. Anyways, once I got up to moving and got to where I could run at least, you know, a few feet, I tried running again and anything past a mile hurt. And I got really yeah. pissed, like a lot of people. I got angry because my daughter wants to run, but she understood. She wanted to get back to races. She wanted to be running with her daddy. Yeah. And she, and it just wasn't happening. So there was that. I didn't care about my time anymore. I didn't care about distance. At the end of the day, my goal was, I just want to run with my daughter. Yes. Like, that was it. I just want to run with my daughter. So it's like, screw it. At the beginning of last year, three days before my birthday on January 19th, so January 16th of 2023, I was like, screw it. I'm going to try to run at least a mile a day and see yeah. what happens. And I'm still running. So I'm, I think I'm like 370, what are we, 71, 72 days in. And I'm not trying to hit some Guinness World Record. I was curious what that is. But it's just now it's become so therapeutic. It's become so easy. Because yeah. here's what. I, I'm so competitive. I used to race to the top of everything. I didn't. Now I don't care about the distance of time. Mm-hmm. I just compare about the minimum. Yeah. Do I push myself in other areas for sure? You know. But with this, it's great. And I, I've mastered breathing, and I teach people how to breathe. It's yes. not just it's just just yoga and meditation. You need to be doing breathing exercises. It's also lifting, and I've taught people how to do that to find a meditative practice. Yeah. So now my morning runs are just that. Like even in the snow, it doesn't feel as cold because I'm just focused on my breath. Right. I'm just moving, and I feel better afterwards. And I look at my time. I was like, oh, that was a great time. And you but know, I'm not stressing about and it. And you know what? We have to give ourselves grace because I I was running my. I didn't start running till I was 50, so it's been a minute. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> my fastest half marathon was 2.17. I said, okay, not bad for an old broad. That's that, awesome. That was the yeah, wine yeah. glass. And I said, okay, next year I want to get it to 2.10. And the injury, my spine is just shot. Oh, man. And so, but we have to give ourselves grace, and we have to learn to embrace and love where we're at. I may not yes. run another Amen. 217 half. Then again, I might. But I think when we, when you touched on it earlier, the journey. take away those expectations. <laughs> Enjoy the journey. The, and that's what I, I've enjoyed the journey. Yes. I get up every day. My mission is this. It's it's like with business, anything. It doesn't mean no, don't get complacent. And also, like, don't feel like you're going to be fulfilled if you hit that professional goal, that personal goal. Because at the end of the day, fulfillment comes from within and who you're serving and other things that, like that. We could become billionaires. We could win that half marathon. But uh, then what's next? Right. You know, right. so it's got to be the journey. It's always got to be the journey because we're not promised tomorrow. Right. So enjoy today. I, I it sounds agree. cliche, but it's no, so true. It's very true. And I <laughs> have found that through uh, running and not being as fast, but that's OK. I'm out. I'm having fun with my friends when I run in the rain, which I is my favorite time to run. Isn't that crazy? Yes, me too. It's yeah, yeah. cathartic. Guess who taught it's me like, that? My eight-year-old daughter. See? I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the first book is Purpose Through Pain, yes. but the new one just came out. Tell us about the new book. Well, it's on pre-sale, and that's why you see this is still, uh, uh, but it, the paperback should be out, released next month. So the f- next one is right here. Is you, well, you, nobody can see it, right? You can see it. <laughs> Joyful see Warrior, it. How to Find Meaning and Suffering, Thrive Through Adversity, and Find Joy Through the Storms uh, to Maximize Our I Life. I love it. So what's it about? It, it, it's that. And I was like, can I even write? 
write this book, but it came after writing this first. I was on my way to a George Takai talk, and love and, him. And yeah, 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 yeah. So it was right after that, and we were talking about purpose of pain, and then a couple other things were happening. I was having people who read my book, and like they they were still struggling to find joy and and happiness, and they really realized, oh my god. You know, I think people put purpose on this monumental thing, but maybe it's just being the best mother or father. So I think people also, you, you know, your purpose might be big in one person's eyes. So let's yeah. get across that. I get that idea in the purpose of pain. It's not necessarily being this, what we see society tells you to do. So Joyful Warrior is like, well, how do we find joy through all that stuff? And I've always realized I've been able to. And the George Dakai thing was, I was in, the, in this person's Jeep and I remember just shouting, yes, joy can be found through the poop storms of our life <laughs> and yeah. and and that was actually gonna be the original title more or less <laughs> replacing one word there I love um, it. but i realized that i wanted to sit on everybody's bookshelf and, and kids to see it and yeah and and it was talking to a few people and i realized joy does not always mean happiness so they're not always one and the same we, joy we you can, can create happiness you can find i say sometimes is a way to easily think about it like happiness is you can find happiness when you go see somebody blow out a candles at a birthday party joy yeah. you create from within or with a higher power i love that and that's a lot of so joy could be in any season of life but what are we searching now what do we find ourselves lost we're looking for happy moments or we're looking for an endorphin facts we know that we can blame social media and all these other things and if we continue to chase that high we'll never truly find it again back to the journey yeah like joy i talk about in my book a number of different things this that you see it's a little bit bigger a little bit thicker because i i, I use it more as a workbook yeah in fact at the end of each chapter some of the last book, I have key takeaways, and I wrote that for me in mind, <laughs> and anybody else that forgets what they wrote about so they can remember or reverse. But I also have a bunch of growth questions, because I want people to like not just read a book and put it on the shelf, so it's I want people to grow. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then I even gave you lines in case you don't even have a notebook. And then look at that, and then <laughs> even look back at progress, or maybe check back a few yeah, yeah, months yeah. or weeks after you wrote something and say, hey, I, I did that, or whatever. Where can we get the book? So it's on Amazon right now. I'll eventually put it on my website. But yeah, you can get it on Amazon pre-order right now. I've had people ask about, oh, I like the paperback or will you do audio? It, it is just the digital and it is just pre-sale. So you cannot read it yet because I just literally on Friday, my birthday, <laughs> I just, I, uh, Happy I always. Happy late birthday, by the way. Yeah, I always want to. It's different when looking in like a Google Drive versus printed. So I had them print a copy and I wanted to read through it and make any final edits, which yeah. is, it's so different when you read a book. And that's why I encourage people to get a book also you feel accomplished when you turn a page so i just mailed that off to my publisher so we're working through the final well i've already finished the final edits they're going to input them in to the drive and then we're going to be able to submit it but i mean so hopefully within the next month you could have a paperback if you're asking questions about audio I don't know. Maybe you can record it for me, but uh, <laughs> I'll record uh, it for but you. It's, it, I, I would love to do that because I know a lot of people. But I do believe cool. in, in the old school way of just flipping a page and reading. And and if if you've done a lot of tablet and you haven't read an actual paper book or flip a page, I I encourage you to try some different ways to look at books. And same thing if you've only read this, maybe do the digital, play right. around with it. But if you don't mind, I'll read some of the chapters here as far as like so you guys know you can spec. The chapter two: scars, honesty, life is too short, winning or growing, embracing the storm. Success comes joy through it all, you know. Comfort through discomfort. That one's one of my favorites. Yeah, and and it's your choice and anchor faith and hope. So and we look forward yeah. to that. Yeah. Okay, Justin, what is your website for not only the book but for nutrition, health and wellness, inspiration? JustinArnold.com. That's with an E N J U S T E N. A-R-N-O-L-D.com. That's my personal website. If you want to book me or learn more about me, it's there. Then I'm active on Instagram. You can follow my journey there. I have a newsletter if you want to get a part of that. Facebook. Justin Arnold, author of Purpose Through Pain and The Joyful Warrior, soon to be released. Thanks sure. so much, Amen. Justin. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.